Okay, I'm working on a project inside my house. Chris is in the kitchen making his lunch. That's aluminum foil. And you might hear some eggs cracking because he's making himself a skillet. You know, where you put the eggs and the ingredients in it. Anyway, I would have done it outside because I like to do my garden projects outside, but it's so windy out. I can't possibly talk to you and do this at the same time and have the wind blowing. So I am building a garden sculpture with these plates that I thrifted. So these were thrifted from this little new thrift store by us called Local Imports. Total of $5 on these, and then I did spend $2 a piece on these. That's a little higher. You could get things for, for cheaper, like from yard sales, but I was being picky about what I wanted. And um, yeah, so I was willing to spend, I spent $9, and then plus I had this already. You could definitely do better on that, but I was just being picky. And I figure I'm putting it in a video, two videos really. So I will spend $9 and get my money back from YouTube. Thank you very much. Um, but you know, if you wanted to hold out for something cheaper, you definitely could. The point is you might even have plates that you want to use. If you have plates that you're like, oh, I don't want these anymore. So I have my three plates and then these little doodads. And then I needed a topper for the top of my sculpture. And I had already found this. I was selling it in my shop and then I was like, I went to my shop to see my booth to see what can I use here for a topper. And I was like, this is perfect because I have daughters who dance and that so this will kind of be in honor of them out in my garden. Um, you know, Hannah's gonna be a senior. So this is her last year of dance. Molly does dance in college, but it's a little different. It's not the same as studio dance, you know. Anyway, that's a long story, but the point is this will be the topper of my little thing. So basically to do what I'm doing, you need three plates, two middle pieces and a topper. I was gonna do a teapot, but I couldn't find a teapot in the size that I wanted or the color that I wanted. And I really want, decided I wanted to honor the, get, the kids. And then silicone, which I got from Home Depot. And also I'm gonna use some, um, some of those flat gems from uh, the Dollar Tree. They will also be on here to add a little sparkle, but I don't have them out yet. And I already own those. Um, what I was going to tell you is you probably could use E6000 too, but I've used E6000 in outdoor projects and it doesn't always um, stay year after year. Whereas I made a bowling ball, if you saw on my Instagram, maybe if I remember, I'll insert a picture. I made a bowling ball covered in gemstones, the flat gems from the Dollar Tree years ago. I'm talking like probably seven years ago. I bring it out every year. I think one or two of them has popped off. Like the silicone really holds stuff well in the weather. So that's why I'm using silicone. You could do E6000. I just don't know the longevity of E6000 out in the weather. So, okay, so all we're gonna do, I, my dishes are clean and I took the stickers off of them. So that was a good first step. And then I'm just going to assemble a little sculpture. So I'm gonna turn this towards me so that everything um, kind of looks right to me and then I'll kind of show you it at the end. So let's go ahead and do this. That's tough. There we go. There, it's an angle. So I cut my silicone tip on an angle and then I'm just going to attach these pieces together. Ooh, ooh, the silicone does not want to come out. Maybe I need to make a bigger hole. Might need a bigger hole. Oh, no, there it goes. There it goes. Had to get it started. So it's just like glue. It takes 30 minutes. It says 30 minutes till water ready. So I'm going to let mine cure inside overnight, though. So. And I'm going to get over top of this so that I can make sure I'm getting it in the center of the other piece. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it to be close. All right, and then I'm just gonna push it down and let it let it seal up there. Okay, and then I'm gonna do my next one. This is a sticker that won't, I, that's not even a sticker actually, it's just in the, the stone thing, but I'm gonna put the glue, the silicone, don't mind Hannah. Oh, there's Hannah. <laughs> We're doing this right in the middle of the family. And I was like, that's fine guys. They understand we've got a family living here. So I'm gonna put this around this rim rather than putting it on the plate because if I put it on the plate, I may not put it in the right spot. So, but if I put it here, I know it's going where it needs to be. So 
So, and don't be afraid if it glops over a little bit, that's fine. And I'm gonna put gemstones to decorate too. You could also use buttons um, just to add a little something, something. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna kneel over top again. I guess I could turn them upside down if I was being really like retentive, but I'm not. I'm not gonna be retentive because it's going in the garden. No one's ever gonna be able to tell, but you could potentially let this one dry and then you would flip the yellow, that's the little connector thing over and do make sure it gets in the center of this, but I'm just gonna try to get close here. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep doing this. I don't need to talk you through each step, but you get the idea. Basically, I'm gluing all these pieces together. If you're enjoying this video, I'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do lots of fun content here related to the home, to gardening, and family vlogs. So if that's your cup of tea, I'd love it if you'd think about subscribing. Again, I'm gonna put it on this thing so I make sure it's making contact. I'm just gonna do the high points because it's not gonna touch anywhere else. Pressing, pressing down ever so slightly. I'm putting a little pressure here. Now I'm gonna put my little topper on. So I'm gonna decide that this is the front. See that? That's gonna be my front. So I want my ballerina to kind of face in the same direction. So again, I'm gonna put the silicone on the piece I'm gluing on. Okay, this is so cute. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. And you can use it to like feed the birds or whatever. I'm probably just gonna use mine as, you know, a decoration. But I think she needs to go over just a little. There we go. I adjusted her just a little bit. So cute. Don't mind the mess. My house is a little messy. That's okay. This is real life, real life YouTube. Oh, I love it. So we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna come back and put some little, cause I thought with the crystal up here, it would be pretty to have some little clear glass of those things here and maybe a few around the base. So here it is. Off camera, I added some of the glass flat bottomed gems pieces, glass pieces, I don't know what you wanna call them, from the Dollar Tree. And I think they look great. It looks like little drops of water I really like how they look. It just adds like a finishing touch. So I only see two problems with this. Well, yeah, two problems. So the first one is that my silicone did not dry completely clear on the dish that isn't white. You can kind of see it's like a milky clear. So if you decide to do this, you might want to look, look for one that says dries completely clear. But that's the first thing. The other thing is because of this scalloped edge here, water might get in here. I think that would only happen if we had like a really windy storm, in which case I might take it in anyway so it doesn't break. But I think in a normal rain, this is gonna act as like an umbrella so that water won't get in there. We'll see. It's all an experiment, you know? Saw this on Pinterest, wanted to give it a try. I'll keep you posted on uh, what happens with it. But So that's another issue that I could see the, which wouldn't be a problem if you had something that wasn't scalloped, but this was so pretty that I wanted to give it a try. So I will keep you posted on that. Let's go ahead and put it out in the garden. Here it is. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So cute. Oh, I got mulch on and I'll have to clean that off. But And Chris and I were discussing, he was originally worried like in a windstorm will it get blown over. It's really sturdy and it's kind of down low. So I think it's gonna be fine. This is going to be my dish garden, hopefully today. That's one of my planned projects. Maybe I'll tack that into the end of this video if I get it done. Um, I'm not gonna make a whole video about it because I've made them before, but that's what this is. But I just love this. And there's my bowling ball I mentioned. So that thing I've had for so many years now and it's still in great shape. I don't have a lot of garden beds if you're wondering why it seems like my garden art is clustered. <laughs> I don't actually have a lot of garden beds. We have a real bunny and deer problem in our yard. So I kind of keep everything in two, 
small beds. I have that one along the house. So I might make another dish sculpture and put it over here. Like one somewhere over here. I think that would be cute. And that would be up against the house, so it also would have some protection. But that's pretty much it as far as my garden beds go. So anyway, I love it. And even though like the other side is the front, I put that on the front because we sit here a lot and hang out with the dog. We call it the, the grassio because <laughs> it's not actually a patio, but we use it as a patio. We move that table usually and just kind of sit there. So I wanted to have it where I am more often so I could see it from the front, but it even looks pretty from the back. All right, one project down, yay. Okay, I thought I'd tuck this into this video. We have our first fruits, do you see them? There's one, and there's one under there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick them and let you see them. You can see we have a lot of death on our plants. I did read this is a fungus. Once you have this fungus, you can't really get rid of it. Uh, yeah, I'll do a whole video about it, but not today. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the fruit that is ripe. That one's not quite there yet. I don't like that they're on the ground. I wonder if there's something I'm supposed to be doing to support them. I don't know. I'll have to read about it. Lots of things to read about. That's a pretty one. There's another over there. I'm going to get that one. So here they are, our first strawberries of 2022. And here's the update on the rest of the garden. Everything's looking great. Oh, I did add some more tomato. These are tomato plants from a friend. And this is a tomato plant. Woo! Tomato plant that Maddie grew from a seed. So I put these in here in pots. They will be a later harvest, but MI Gardener, the gardening channel that I watch, says you can start tomatoes in June. So that's what I did. You know, it's all an experiment. Also, there's my hanging plants. They're gonna bloom and look gorgeous. Okay, I'm out here on my deck. It is 100 degrees. Remember I said we hadn't gotten a lot of heat? Oh, surprise. <laughs> now we have a heat wave can't keep track of the, the weather in Minnesota. If you hear yard work, there are people still oddly doing their yards in this weather. I don't know why, but I really want to get my fairy garden done so I can enjoy it. I'm doing it a little different this year. This year I'm going to do three stacked pots. I've already filled them with dirt. They're just terracotta pots that I already had and I'm not even connecting them in any special way. So I'm just going to stack them and hope that that, uh, you know, yeah. does what I need it Head to. Into the Hey, Gabe. I'm filming. Okay. Can Don't I... worry. What? Can I have to walk behind you? Yeah, of course. All right. So I think that'll be sturdy enough. If a tornado comes along, God forbid, um, or really strong wind, we'll, we can always take it down if we need to. But I think that this will be fine. And then this is kind of my like centerpiece. This is just a, a little birdhouse that I use every time I do a fairy garden. I just really like it. I like the rusty crusty and every year it gets a little rustier and crustier. So I don't mind that. So I'm just going to stick that up there. And then um, I have a bunch of plants, which I didn't buy for this project. They're just kind of leftovers from like my pots that I haven't used yet. So I'm going to use these in my fairy garden as well. And then I have a bunch of woodland creatures, I call them, which I've picked up at various yard sales. Gabe gave me these three, they're frogs. And then this is my little owl friend. That is from a yard sale. I think this was from Dollar Tree. And then these are just some little porcupine. I mean, are they porcupines? I don't even know. Oh, I lost one. Did my dog take it again? Oh no. Penny chewed the ear off this one earlier today. Oi. Okay, and so these are just little like, I don't know what they are. I just found them at a yard sale one year, so I use those in my fairy garden. And some accessories and another little house. I think this is from Target. So it's just a mishmash of stuff that I have. Let's see, could be the Dollar Tree, I don't remember. But it's just a mishmash of stuff that I have that I kind of just use to decorate my fairy garden. So it's kind of like a use what you have project. 
Um, and then I want to make little ladders, which I haven't done yet, to go from one level to the next. You can do that with sticks or chopsticks or popsicle sticks. I'm not gonna get that done for today, but um, that's something that you know I will do. I'll pop it into another video at some point to show you. The wind just blew my tripod over, but I think you can still see what I'm doing here. Yeah, there you go. You can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill my fairy garden and you can just watch along. Okay, what I'm doing here, I've buried a little pot. It's just a little flower pot. I'm filling it mostly with white stones and then I'm gonna top it off with blue marbles. It'll make it look like a little bit of a pond. And then I have some bunnies that are like canoeing that I'm gonna put around it. Okay, here it is. The camera shut down because it was just too hot, but it looks pretty sturdy. I took it off the um, thing. The, I usually put something underneath my pots to protect the deck, but it, I think it was making it a little wobbly. So I decided to just go with this. Seems pretty sturdy now. Oh, sorry, it's just a lot. And you can see I added some more plants. I actually added some succulents from my garden hens and chicks that I have they will do really well they love Minnesota weather and then this is rosemary so I've got an herb in there and all my little woodland friends and then I'm gonna make a ladder for here to here and probably one for here down to here I might put a few more rocks there to make it look like a little path and then have a ladder that leads up so anyway that's my use what you have fairy garden Super happy with it. I'll keep you posted on the progress of the growth of the flowers. I tried to use and plant in such a way, like I know sweet alyssum will cascade so that I didn't want to cover up all my cutie little features. So these will stay low. This can cascade over the side. Polka dot plants don't get too huge. Put a little marigold that's kind of in poor shape there. And this is another cascader. So I will keep you posted on what it looks like as the season goes. All right, we're here. It's a gorgeous Saturday. And Maddie's doing the dish garden this year. So we just added a little bit of fresh potting soil and she's just mixing it into the old potting soil. You can see the faucet. If you haven't seen us do this before, this is like an old chandelier thing. And the faucet is on wood dowels to bring it up a little higher so that once the flowers get big, it doesn't get totally buried. The plants we use are white sweet alyssum. We're both doing some planting. Heck yeah. Getting the hands dirty, see? Very. I'm too lazy to go outside, get go inside and get my tripod. So I'm just doing it the lazy way. <laughs> Giving you little snippets. And now the magic ingredient, water. Oh, it's so pretty, Maddie. You did a great job. Well, I know, but you designed it. You put all the plates in. Looks great. And that's all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this little gardening vlog and these gardening DIY projects. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.